Alright, hello everybody, and today we will be creating... Muzzle Flashes! The gigantic scary ball of fire that comes out of a gun when you shoot it. Alright, so, uh, for the film that I'm working on, I decided to get Houdini. And, um, upon looking at it, I thought that it would be cool to try to make a three-dimensional muzzle flash using VDB files, which is essentially a volumetric file that you can import into Blender and use. So I downloaded Houdini and opened it up and immediately didn't know what to do because, uh, look at this. Apparently Houdini is like the craziest program to learn, so, uh, yeah, good luck. So after chatting with some friends and getting a basic handle on the interface, I decided to try to make a muzzle flash from scratch. And then um, it was called to my attention that there was actually like a preset for this, so I just used that instead. So after a while fiddling, I came up with some cool looking muzzle flashes and exported them as VDBs. So to use this VDB file, hit Shift A and select Volume, then select the VDB option. Go to your folder where you have the VDB files located, and hit A to select all of them, then hit Import. From there, you have a nice muzzle flash in your scene, except not quite. So the first thing you want to do is go to the volume settings, and set it from clip to repeat, so it loops over and over again, and you can use it forever. Next thing we're going to do is set up the shader, because right now it kind of just looks like a little puff of smoke. So the first thing you're going to want to do is add a new material. It's automatically set up with a principled volume shader, so just go ahead and use that. In my experience, the best settings to aim for are a black body intensity of 1 to 2, a temperature of 5000 to 10,000, and a black body tint of white or slightly yellow or orange. Although try to play around with this because it makes a big difference. By the way, you can also set the volume density to 1 or 2 and make the color dark if you want some muzzle flash smoke. Although keep in mind, this will increase the render time, so if you want a faster VDB muzzle flash, then you'll want to turn this off. Okay, now we have a beautifully rendered VDB muzzle flash. But, what if you wanted to see it in the viewport? Right now, it still just kind of looks like an ugly puff of smoke. To do that, you're going to want to go to the shader settings, go to the material tab, and in the viewport shading section, you can select the color. Take this color value and push the brightness up to something like 100. Then make it orange, or whatever color you want it to be. There we go. Now we have a beautiful muzzle flash in both the viewport and render. So this muzzle flash will work fine if we have a fully automatic weapon, but if you want to animate it, here's how. Go to the frame you want the muzzle flash to appear on, and hit I to keyframe the scale value. Then go to the frame before it, and hit S0, then hit I again and select the scale option. Then select the frame after the weapon is shot, and hit S0 and I again. So now you should have three keyframes, and the one in the middle should be where your muzzle flash goes off. Now you can shoot stuff shoot stuff that everybody wants to shoot. So I've created a free VDB muzzle flash pack for anybody who wants to download it. You can get it on my Gumroad. Link is in the description. It's free, although you can leave a tip if you want uh, to help me get to Blender Conference this year. And you can set up the VDB files using the techniques that I showed you in this video, and you should have some awesome 3D muzzle flashes. Now, keep in mind that you could do this. Like, all you need to do is get Houdini Apprentice uh, play around with a muzzle flash preset, and then export it as a VDB. This is just for convenience sake, and yeah, I just thought it'd be good to point out that li literally anybody could do this, and this is not like something exclusive. One more thing to note is that VDBs, while they look really cool, they can be pretty expensive to render, and the render times can get pretty crazy, especially after you uh, crank down the voxel level and the muzzle flashes start getting higher resolution. Uh, a cheaper substitute, while they don't look as cool, could be image planes. So just import a video of a muzzle flash on an image plane, and just position that in your scene. And that'll work as well, but it won't look as cool, and it's not physically accurate, but it will save you a lot of render time. Um, yeah. See you next time.